World Kitchen. We are on a mission to help you eat healthy in a hurry and save some time and money. I'm Guy Creek. I'm Ishan. And we are going to show you a great easy way to save some money. How are you going to do that Ishan? Nachos. Nachos? Well first we're going to, what do we need for our nachos? Cheese. Cheese. And you know what? Buying grated cheese in the store is very expensive and it's full of chemicals and preservatives that you don't want. So we're going to show you a super easy way to grate your own cheese. This is the micro, micro plane grater. This is the finer one. It does come with a little storage cover. I love that part of it. And you can fold it up fully to store it. You could use it as a tripod or you could use it over a bowl or a pan directly. So, shall we show them how to grate this cheese and how easy it is? The hardest part is just using this little lever to get your handle where you need it. And what I also love about this is the safety handle. Especially if you have a small piece, this will go right on here. And you put this block in and it's not going to slide off. So, I love that. But since our piece is a little bigger, Ishan, why don't we get started? grating it once it's too small. Look how fine it is and how quickly it is to, um, you know, how quickly and easy it is to grate. All right, Sean, why don't we, I'm getting a little worried about your fingers getting a little close to it. So why don't we just actually break this off and put this, hang on, hang on. We gotta put the safety piece on, go ahead. And I'm going to use this to hold it in place. Now, no fingers are lost in the cheese. We don't have to worry about blood. I will give you a big tip for what I do is I just buy big blocks of cheese and I grate them ahead of time and I put them in a freezer bag and they're ready to go for when I want to make my nachos or use them for another dish. So while Ishan's grating, I'm gonna go ahead and layer up some Tostitos for our nachos in the Pampered Chef Rock Crock Grill Pan. This is my favorite, and I love it because not only does it go on the grill, it goes on your stovetop, it goes in the dishwasher and you can use it in the oven. So I love the fact that it's a year-around piece that gets used for us. Whether it's pizzas, flatbreads, you know, whatever nachos. it is that you want. Nachos. And if you can fit it in your freezer or you can get the smaller size, you can freeze it and make ice cream mix-ins. Just like those wonderful, you know, ice cream um, places that mix in the fixins on your, um, with your ice cream. Yeah, so I'm going to layer this up here while Ishan is finishing up. Ishan, why don't you move on to the placemat so we don't have it all over the table. And, so, Postillos are layered on. This is perfect for a game day or, you know, if you're entertaining, having a party, a bunch of people over. This is an easy meal for us and we make it very healthy by adding a lot of healthy fixins. And I'll show you those in a minute here. All right, Ishan, when you're done, go ahead and sprinkle the cheese on all of this. And let's show them our great fixins. So we're gonna do a taco salad. You can easily do a taco bar. I have everything ready to go in the Pampered Chef Cool and Serve and I love it because the ice insert on the bottom here, I froze it overnight and it keeps my food cold for about four to six hours. So it's perfect for car trip or again, for eating outside, entertaining. You know, it's the way, it's the coolest or the hottest thing, I'm not sure how you wanna put it, in ent outdoor entertaining. So I already have my fixings cut up. I have some tomatoes, green peppers, some lettuce that I just chopped up using the Pampered Chef salad choppers, the green onions, 
The guacamole and the salsa can easily be homemade and made in the manual food processor, or you can just get a jar if you're in a hurry. But I think we're getting done here. What do you think, Ishan? There's no such thing as enough cheese. I know that, especially with you. Okay, I think that looks great. Let's walk it over to the grill. Okay. Well, we don't need those yet. This is not hot yet. It will be. It will be. It will definitely get hot. Walk it over to the grill. Okay, let me get the lid for you. Okay, put it on. Be careful, though. It is hot. You can put it down gently. Perfect. Look how beautifully the cheese is melted on our tortilla chips. They are perfect to put rest of our toppings on and make a loaded nachos. So let's get started. Let's bring this a little closer. Did you notice that I actually put my grill stone, which is very, very hot, on my stackable cooling rack? It's a perfect way to, you know, put something very hot and be safe with your countertops or even your tablecloths. So, all right. Ready, Isha? Perfect. Why don't we sprinkle some lettuce? The lettuce was so easy to chop, wasn't it, Ishan, with the salad choppers? We did it right in the... Right in the washer, yeah. Right in the washer. In uh, the salad spinner bowl. That's right, we loaded these on. Okay, spring. be careful, the Rock Park Grill Stone is very hot, okay, love? There you go. I'm gonna add some of the green onions. And again, you know, we're gonna keep it vegetarian, but if you wanna load it up with um, some other things like chicken and um, you know, other, other delicious things on here, you certainly can. And it's amazingly good and easy and a healthy snack. I mean, think about how many vegetables we have on here. Okay, we're gonna just put that, oh yeah, let's put that on top there. Perfect, right in the middle there, and then we can dig right in. There. Oh, and we need sour cream too, so we'll add sour cream on top. I have to go get that, so we'll not make people wait to watch that. But I think we are done. Thank you so much for joining us for another wonderful episode of Guy Three's World Kitchen. If you like this episode, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and to share the video. Lots of great easy tips coming up right here. Thank you for joining my family in our kitchen.